Don't you feel tired of living in a polluted city? Every day, I have to walk by exhaling carbon dioxide polluted breath from gas vehicles. Since the 18th century, scientists have not stopped at studying the substitution energy of gas vehicles, which is LG vehicles. But the price set by LG vehicles is still very expensive, high candy costs, fast battery drain, and incomprehensive refueling system. In electrochemistry lessons, I learned that to improve the quality of batteries, it is necessary to improvise the energy density and power density of the constituent materials. I began to dive into the ocean of material science and came across a tiny prairie of light called gravity. In 2004, Kim and Fossil succeeded in finding this thin material which is a good conductor, lightweight chemically inert and flexible with a large surface area. But gravity synthesis still requires a complex process and is very expensive. Therefore, I started looking for other methods that could synthesize gravity easily and at an affordable cost, and I found the answer in pyrolysis. Pyrolysis is a decomposition process whose residual phase can be controlled such as liquid smoke and carbon charcoal. To produce a more stable residue, a process involving Markovnikov carbocation reaction can be made. For that, I am Safira Nashua, a student of Mantumalan City who likes engineering chemistry lessons, will present a work titled ALGR1. Ion aluminum battery cells grabbing polyethyl taftite to realize a better era of LG vehicles. The purpose of research is to find an appropriate and good method to synthesize gravin from PE to waste, know the electrical characteristic, is fabrication on aluminum ion battery cells, and cell comparison with existing battery cells. This research took place for 6 weeks from September 1 to October 14 and was carried out at the M2KM Science Lab, Unitary Chemical Engineering Lab, UB Plasma Physics, and UMDN Sigma Global Lab. The study procedures consisting of preparation, synthesis, characterization using FTIR, graven cathode manufacturer and coin cell battery assembly, electrochemical test, with voltaic cell calculation, and QCD test. Graven allotrop is produced by PET carbonization process with Markovnikov carbocation reaction, double pyrolysis of pentanol catalyzed. The carbocation process involves the addition of an alkene compound by a hydrogen halide to produce a more stable hydrocarbon bond. Two stages of pyrolysis were made. First, primary pyrolysis heating rate of 5 degrees Celsius per minute for 6 hours, with the aim of depolymerizing polyethylene hydrocarbon chains in ethylene, which has covalent bond angle is 120 degrees. Second, secondary pyrolysis heating rate of 5 degrees Celsius per minute for 2 hours, aiming to remove the remaining hydrocarbon groups and oil particles, so that pure amorphous carbon is produced. The best pyrolysis product was obtained from the ratio of pentanol catalyzed, which is 1 kg with a half liter of water. The product is black amorphous aggregate weighing 460 grams, is crushed to a size of about 100 mesh. The synthesized graving powder was characterized using FTIR. The spectrum results show the loss of the functional group CO at a wavelength of 1012.61 per centimeter, which is a sign of the formation of graving monomers. The reduction in the functional group carbon double bond at a wavelength of 1574.54 per centimeter is indicated by a decrease in the peak transmission of graving. It can also be seen that there is no absorption band at a wavelength of 3400 per centimeter, which is an absorption band resulting from the hydroxyl vibration. This indicates that PT has been depolymerized in the gravin. Cathode manufacture is done by compressing the blue fried gravin powder in a hydraulic press of 5 tons for 30 minutes. To make a solid cathode product, gravin powder is mixed with a polysaccharide electrolyte solution in a ratio of gravin and a solution of 3 to 1. The cathode will be made in the form of a coin with a width of 2 mm and a circle diameter of 2 cm. The precision was obtained by mixing 1.5 grams of gravin powder with a 0.5 ml of starch solution. To make a coin cell, a thin film cathode is needed, which is produced by dissolving 0.9 grams of gravin, 0.1 grams of carbon black, 0.35 ml of LA binder, and 1.5 ml of DI. The mixture was stirred using a magnet stirrer for 24 hours at room temperature to ensure that there were no lumps in the process. After the mixture becomes a slurry, the mixture is deposited on top of the current powder where the cathode is copper and the anode is aluminum. ALGR1 batteries made by reacting gravin cathode with aluminum anode superator gravin cathode and one loop of aluminum card electrolyte solution. To determine the value of the energy density, a voltaic mathematical test is first carried out. The more positive the total E value, the more spontaneous the battery as a sign of fast charging the battery. The mathematical calculation will be validated by a voltmeter test on the positive negative poles of the battery, which was made with the same variable mass and obtained the results of a 2.9 volt ALGR1 battery, aluminum 2.85 volt, lithium 2.80 volt, and alkaline 2 volt.
The charge discharge test is used to determine the ability of a material to store energy. In testing with a current of 0.1 amperes with a maximum voltage of 2 volts, repeated for up to 4 cycles, we get a polarizing charge showing that the battery has a maximum capacity of just over 1 mAh, where from 4 cycles the capacity decreased by 0.4 mAh. The battery has a maximum voltage of 3.9 volts, where the material has a mass of 0.0096 grams with a maximum capacity of 2 mAh. In the Swagil cell sample of a fill layer graphene aluminum iron battery with a mass of 4.8 grams of active material, the results of the GCD test with 55 cycle are as follows. The 10 cycle has a maximum capacity of 180 mAh per gram and decreases until the 55th cycle ends with a capacity of 90 mAh per gram. This decrease is influenced by the mass and surface area of the active material. With an increase in the surface area, it means that the intercalation space for ions will be wider so that the storage capacity is also greater. Then, to compare with the characteristic of other battery materials, the secondary data of the study are summarized in the following table. A comparison table for calcium graven synthesis and production cost is also made as follows. The conclusion of Vane is that polyethylene triphthalate has succeeded in becoming a carbon source for the synthesis of graven through the reaction of a carbocation intermediate with a pentamet catalyst. The coin battery is constructed with an aluminum anode, graven cathode separator, copper current collector, and aluminum chloride electrolyte. The electrochemical test results show significant differences in potential energy and PCD test between ALGR1 batteries, aluminum, alkaline, and lithium. The ALGR1 battery achieved the best efficiency in terms of potential energy, charge duration, and production cost. With a series of studies that have been carried out, Graven has been successfully produced with lower cost and good cathode effectiveness to create good cathode electric car nanoparticle batteries. In this world, there will always be the practice of dualism theory, where one big problem seems to be the solution to another big problem. I am Savira Nashua, committed to contributing more to science through all the valid processes in research and innovation development.